everybody, I'm Lynn LaForcina and I'm in Barcelona at MWC here at the Kyocera booth to give you a rundown on some of the company's concept and prototype devices. Up first, we have what the company imagines to be an emergency kit of the future. In addition to your first aid kit and some water, it'll also have a water and dust proof radio transmitter and solar charger. The former helps your phone connect to the grid for up to 50 miles through a long range radio in case you're in a total dead zone. And the latter, of course, lets you charge your device. Then we have a low power tablet with a kickstand and an e-paper screen. Next up is a customizable line of rugged smartphones that includes a core platform that all the other handsets start out with. Users can then make their phones to be either a bit more rugged but still consumer friendly, a lot more rugged and able to survive very cold temperatures, or extremely rugged with loud dual speakers and bumpers that protect the corners. Moving on, what we have here is a reference model of a Kyocera handset running Windows Phone 8.1. This is pretty interesting since the company mostly makes Android handsets. And lastly, Kyocera has a solar rugged phone that has a solar panel embedded in the back of the phone's display. So you can charge the phone anywhere the sun is shining, which is particularly useful in emergency situations. Now, once again, all these things you just saw are prototype and reference models, so they're nowhere near production yet. But if this gives us a glimpse of where Kyocera is going, then its future could prove to be quite interesting. Again, I'm Lynn, and for more cool gadgets that we saw here at MWC, check out CNET.com. Yeah.